Hi, it's um, John Deal again, just going to go through uh, another little bit of CPD, this time using Google Spreadsheets. As you can see from the heading at the top, it's about inserting images. I'm sure that those of you who are already familiar with the features of Google Spreadsheets, you'll pro probably already know that to insert an image, you need to use the insert image menu option. So we go on to insert, down to image, and then once that comes up, you can either drag the image into here, you can choose an image to upload, um, but I'm going to use an image that is in my um, Dropbox and I've taken the public URL for it and I've pasted it in the box and there's the image that I'm going to insert. So when I click select now, in comes the image, but, whoa, hang on a minute, that isn't in the cell I selected, B7. It's not where I wanted it at all. It's actually over the top of um, the cells, the spreadsheet. It's not actually in the cell itself. So if you didn't get what you want, how do you get it into the cell? Let me just delete the image there. Um, we'll choose uh, cell B1. And this time I'm going to use uh, the formula for putting in an image. And basically, as you can see, it's equals image brackets and then in quote marks you put the URL that I pasted in before um, followed by a close brackets. So if I do that now, I'm going to paste it in because it's going to be a, a lot quicker. There you go. Equals image brackets and then the quote marks and the URL close brackets. When I press enter now you will notice that, whoa, right in that corner here, very difficult to see, is um, the image that I posted. Well, let me just increase the size of the cell. And, wow, it increases in size. It's in proportion, it's in the cell, and depending on the size of the cell, let's drag it a bit further. There you go. Um, so it will actually fit the cell. Notice it's in proportion, and if I widen the cell now, giving it a bit more width, it will increase to fill the height. Now it's got enough width to increase as well. Okay, that's one way of actually doing it. There are other ways. Let me just bring this down in size a little so that there's some room. Uh, we'll go into the cell next to it, into C1 now. What I'm going to do now is to show you the um, a, an addition to that particular script. Notice the image on the left hand side here. I'm going to type in the script as before, but this time after the quote mark and before the close bracket, I'm actually going to type in, and I'm going to paste it in, I'm going to type in here, look, the number 2. All right, there's a comma and then a 2. This time when I press enter, whoa, what's happened? It's actually the same height and the same width as the cell. And if I alter the width of the cell, it just stretches him. So by putting at that number two after the comma and before the closed brackets what i've ended up with now is a picture that will fill the whole cell unlike the first one who if you remember stayed in proportion um, but um, didn't get fatter or thinner or wider Notice how this one's fitting the whole width of the cell, whereas that one, even if I make the width bigger, doesn't. There we go, let's make it wider. There you go. Okay, let's move into cell um, D1 this time. 
because instead of the two, this time if I actually put in a number three, that's instead of the two, and press enter, um, what we get this time is actually the full sized image regardless of the size of the cell it puts it in the cell but obviously it's far too big i'm going to have to drag this down and you'll see what i mean okay it's nearly fitting i don't think we'll get it to fit completely um, but let's make it a bit wider as well Bear with me a sec. If I move across, you'll see that what we've got now is an image that is the original size. So, so far by just putting in the, um, the image um, formula, we got uh, an image that fitted the cell but kept in proportion. By adding the number two, we got an image that fits the cell, but it stretches to fit the cell entirely. And then if we add a number three, it keeps the original dimensions and it's in the cell, but you would have to make the cell big enough for it to fit. And the last one, let's go into E1. This time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it. Yeah, surprisingly, it is a four. You've guessed already. But there's a bit more this time. If you look when I paste it in, you'll notice that it actually has the numbers 209 by comma 93 after the four. And the reason for that is those are the dimensions that I'm going to make the image. So it's 209 pixels tall and 93 wide. And if I press enter now, I should have pressed tab and it would have stayed. There is the image and it is exactly that size. It won't matter whether I drag it across or whether uh, I make it shorter. Let's just make it shorter as well. The image doesn't change in any way, shape or form. Let me just change that. Remember, that's 209. I'll copy it. If I change that to 93, just to show you these are the dimensions, instead of being tall and thin, when I do it this time, the image will actually be a square. Watch. There he is fits perfectly into a square uh, again what i'll do is i'll change that back to 209 and when i press enter this time that's the size that i wanted it so what have we gone through there's four different things that i have achieved here one this one that regardless of anything else it always fits in the cell but it's always in proportion it's not stretched tall or not what stretched wide if i add as i had here a number two a comma number two then it fills the cell regardless of to the size so if i make this cell thinner it makes the man thinner if i make the cell wider it makes the man wider if i make the cell taller it makes the man taller he fits the cell for this one it's the original size regardless of the size of the cell it's the original size so if i make the cell smaller we don't see as much of him because he doesn't fit the cell okay and last but not least this one with the number four what we've got now is i'm gonna to have to stretch it down a bit so it fits we have got the image but it's the size that i decided it was going to be 209 pixels tall and 93 wide so if i halve that roughly we'll do it in half that would be 104 let's say let's change that to 104 104 
and the 93 is going to be 46 ish okay if I do enter now there he is that size okay so you can control the size I hope you found that uh, interesting and uh, and you can put it to good use by inserting images of your choice doing what you want them to do in the cells not over the cells which is what you would get if you did insert image that's all from me John Dell um, come back again at another time and see what other CPD recordings I've produced for you